Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Now look at these graphics just pop up out of my hands like I have magical powers. Oh, snap. It's another article submitted by Patreon supporter Lauren D'Alessandro. The Useless of Economic Development Incentives. This actually was in um, this one publication went over, the New York Times did a study, a 10 month study, they sent their journalists out to cities and states and towns all over America for 10 months and compiled all of this data. This article that I'm referencing takes the data from the New York Times article and several other studies to show that it's all a lie. We've been told this, right? I believed it, right? If uh, this, this state provides tax breaks so it entices businesses, you know, we've heard that whole story of, oh man, if this town or city gives a tax break, then this professional sports team will build a big stadium there and it's gonna always, it's this big promise of all these jobs, right? It's gonna bring all these jobs. And it, on paper, you, if you're not an economist or you don't have a 10 month study behind you, you go, oh, that makes sense, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Give them tax breaks, encourage business to come through. Nope, wrong. Take a guess who it benefits. Yeah, oh, the, how did you know that? I was about to say the corporations. How did, you, you read my mind. Wow, that's a crazy ability that you have. I was just about to say it only benefits the corporations in the 1%, and you, you, you took those words right out of my mouth. How did you know that? It's like anytime we hear that. Privatization, these are the buzzwords, buzzwords when you know you're getting screwed over. Privatization, no, that's bad. for. That's not gonna be good for the masses. That's only gonna be good for the ruling, ruling class. Uh, you know, tax breaks, incentives to bring jobs. Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. Let's get into it. All told, states, cities, and counties give away some $80 billion to companies each year, according to both expenditures and tax abatements. Here's just a general map, okay? So what this is, business incentives per capita. Texas does very well. Alaska, West Virginia, Michigan, right? What you start to notice, states that have had economic trouble, not always, but cities and states that have had a lot of economic trouble, they entice companies to come there. But in the long run, it doesn't benefit them. Vermont does it, all right. New York, Florida, Oklahoma, Nebraska. Look at that now, look at that. Texas brags about, we, we, we all, it's a business friendly state, they've always said. Rick Perry, as you say, business friendly, okay. I can tell you doing business in California is very expensive. It's a very expensive state to do business in. But guess what? There is virtually no association between economic development, incentives, and any measure of economic performance. We found no statistically significant association between economic development incentives per capita and average wages or incomes. So what that means is that these incentives, which are basically tax breaks, there was, they, there was no connection, no association between these tax breaks incentives and then wages going up, meaning these, they didn't bring higher wages, they didn't bring a higher income, they didn't do that. There's also no association be, uh, between incentives and college grads or knowledge of, and workers, and none between incentives and the state and unemployment rate. That's the most critical one. These incentives didn't bring down the unemployment rate. So why are people giving up their tax dollars? Now we've talked about this, about MMT. If you go to my MMT playlist, you realize on the federal level, the federal government can, because of the Federal Reserve and it's a fiat currency, the United States is a monetary sovereign like China, like Australia, and a handful of other countries. But on the local level, on the, the, the city and the county and the state level, Tax dollars are very critical. Tax dollars are the same way you and I manage our own households, right? The amount of money you come in, you can only spend that, that's the only amount, a dollar amount you have to work with. If you spend over that, you go into debt. So tax breaks are a big deal. There's a big thing Ocasio-Cortez fought hard to not give Amazon a big tax break. We know Amazon. They made $11.2 billion in 
profits in 2018 and paid zero dollars in taxes. In fact, there's a hundred of the Fortune 500 companies that paid zero dollars in taxes. So when local governments are giving tax incentives, that really affects you. It really affects you on a local level because local taxes pay for things like schools and roads and parks and libraries, social services you need on a local level, right? Homelessness, after school lunch program, all the after school programs, lunch programs, right? We're hearing about people getting fined for owing money for school lunches and all this crazy stuff, police departments, fire departments, all that stuff. First responders, that's all, that's all local, meaning city, state, or federal, or city, state, or, or uh, county. Federal's its own thing. So this is really critical. And here's the other thing they found. They found that economic development incentives to be more likely in poor, more economically disadvantaged communities, especially those that have faced a recent economic decline. Gee, I know this is going to be a shocker for those of you who watch my show on a regular basis. Uh, corporations are taking advantage of people. Yeah, they want, here's a poor community. I bet you we can get a big tax break and then it doesn't benefit that community. We think, so, we think it would, right? Someone that got affected by any one of those hurricanes or uh, any city that's had, uh, you know, problems, a big industry pulled out. We've talked about Detroit a lot, right? The car industry has pulled out of there a lot. Anytime something like that, a big manufacturing hub left an area. So we try to attract businesses to come in and companies like Amazon come in and offer all these jobs, but there's no real change. They offer low paying jobs. They don't offer union jobs. If they offered high paying union jobs, you would see an influx, you would see the economic go up. But here's the thing, if these big corporations don't pay any taxes or they pay significantly less taxes, then the tax base, you're lowering the tax base. So you have less taxable money to pay for things like schools and roads and social programs that enrich a community, a community that has good public schools, good right? Junior colleges and local colleges that are, those are, get, those get state money or city money. So if they don't have that, there's less. We have a serious homeless problem here in Los Angeles, as there are in a lot of cities. That's local money. So when companies like Amazon and stuff like that and get, get tax breaks, it doesn't benefit you and I, it doesn't benefit your community. It hurts your community. That's what these studies find. The study found that companies that received incentives expanded more slowly than others. And worse yet, that overall effect of incentives was a reduction of 10.5 jobs per establishment. So they didn't, they always promised more jobs. They didn't, jobs went down. 10 and a half job reduction. So anytime we hear this globalization, you know, and when people get mad at immigrants, I say, an immigrant didn't steal your job, corporations did. And this is why I make it so clear why it's so important to get involved in politics on a local level. If you just think all we gotta do is get a progressive in the White House and then everything's fixed, you're wrong. You're absolutely wrong. We need this fixed on a local level so that this doesn't happen anymore. What AOC did to prevent Amazon from getting tax breaks was a big deal. You need to do that and petition your lawmakers in your community when the Amazons of the world, when the Walmarts of the world want to come in and they promise this, that, and the other thing, show them this study. Send this to your local lawmakers. Go to your city council meetings where they all, pub, the public is allowed to speak and read these stats. Stick to the facts. What do I always say? You guys email me, Graham, I ha my neoliberal or neocon friends and family, they won't listen. I always say stick to the facts. And this, this is how you do it. There's another study. A 2011 Lincoln Institute of Land Policy study found property tax incentives to be counterproductive. <laughs> Again, it's the same thing. 
Local governments need property tax. That's how they pay for stuff. Being all too frequently given to companies that would have chosen the same location anyway. So let's say this big corporation was going to come set up shop in your community and then they're given tax break, uh, uh, um, property tax incentives. They were going to pay it anyway. You need that tax. You need that tax revenue. So here's what's happening. They're not paying the, the, you know, the taxes, the property taxes in this case. They're not paying superior wages. So the employees, while they're making money, they're not making more money to buy more goods, right? You pay employees really high wages. They have more disposable income to spend in their local communities, which stimulates the whole economy. And the local governments get sales tax and on down the line. Not happening. Instead of creating new jobs or spurring employment, the main effect of incentives is simply to deplete a community's tax base. So I just referenced two studies. And in this article, they ref there's a bunch of hyperlinks to other studies. Bring all of these studies to your next city council meeting. Say this to your state lawmakers. This doesn't work. Show what AOC did with Amazon. Show how all these big companies don't pay taxes. Imagine if Amazon came to a poor community and gave a bunch of jobs, you know, had all these jobs, paid a bunch of taxes, paid a good union wage to everybody. That, that would uplift a community. That you would see real change, right? And not only they pay money in taxes, as well they should, but also give money locally. Like, oh, we're going to build a homeless shelter locally. We're going to spend money on after-school programs. We're going to go to a depressed economy. Because this is the thing. When an econ when economy tanks in a local area, that means, again, as I've said, the local government doesn't collect the tax. So then what? Then you get dilapidated schools and parks. They all get run down. A big company like Amazon with Jeff Bezos worth 150 some billion dollars, he could come in, pay all these taxes, give union wages, and then go, you know, here's a billion dollars to build a homeless shelter, to, you know, do a rehab center because there's an opioid epidemic in this state or town or community. Oh, here's a big job training plan. Oh, here's a bunch of scholarships. Here's free college for everybody here. You have this smarter, better workforce. You come work for me, I'll help you get a college degree, he could say, Bezos could say. We'll help pay for your college. All these things would enrich that community and then give more people spending money to buy more of Amazon's products. Do you see how that works? But they're just too greedy, the 1%. They're too greedy, the ruling class. So don't let them get these tax breaks. Don't let them shop around state to state. Don't show them. Don't do this. Send this to your lawmakers. You live in Texas? Send them this. Say, you're not, I know you, you they probably had good intentions. It sounds, it, look, it sounded good to me. Oh, tax breaks bring in business. That's what we got to do. I would always say, oh, that's a good plan. But we, do, we have the research now we know. So thank you for keeping me informed, Lauren D'Alessandro. And you can do what Lauren does by go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and submit articles like this. Right? For $5 a month, you get bonus content at patreon.com. You can go to rockman.com slash Graham Elwood. All my videos are up there ad-free, and if you endorse them, I get residual income. If you subscribe to Rockman, I get residual income. And I know some of you money's tight, so I, that's why I want to keep the videos for free on YouTube, but YouTube, you know, they unsubscribe, they throttle my views, they do all this stuff. And some people go, Graham, why are you for against billionaires? Why are you on Google? If you know of a better platform, I'm all for it. I tried DTube, didn't work. I tried, um, what was that other one that's out of Europe? Ah, I forget its name. That wasn't that great. So here we are. Plenty of ways to support the show. Like, subscribe, share the videos. Make sure you watch the ads all the way through. If you click, click skip ad, I don't get play, paid. And join Ron Placone and I on the road for the 2020 Progressive Comedy Tour. We're going to Tucson. We're going to San Francisco. We are going to uh, Seattle. We're going to Portland. We're going to Orlando. We're going to Miami. And we're adding new tour dates all the time. GrahamElwood.com for all your tour dates. Thanks for watching, everybody.